So what's up guys, Steven Docs here. I haven't really done a video about recent stocks recently and uh, I'm going to do a recap of November and uh, especially for the last week, we had a lot of plays recently and uh, we had AIHS, PSTV and NSYS. Now those are the major plays that happened last week. So there's a lot of key points that was involved because there's a lot of different patterns that are involved as well and some of the key points you need to avoid. And this video is going to be a little bit more educational and uh, talking about market caps and overall patterns. And before I get into this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. And then let's get into the video. So PSTV, this one was a semi bounce short. If you take a look at this one month chart, the stock did have some type of resistance back in uh, October 15th. Uh, one year chart, I think was right here. Now the overall resistance is not that much, around seven million. So dollar resistance will be the volume times the price, which is 7 million times five, 35 million dollar resistance. Now let's take a look of when the stock did a morning panic and decides to spike and fade all day. Overall, the stock is barely out 50%. So it's not an ideal bounce short. Ideal bounce short will be minimum of 50%. Now in this case, I did short into uh, a $3.3 area and they covered a half into 90, half into 60. Overall, it was a decent trade. Didn't really size in that much because it's not a perfect pattern to play with. Now, next time when you see it, Every single time when you're looking at a ticker and you want the stock to form resistance first before you really try to short into resistance. Let's say PSDV, uh, the historical resistance will be 3.6. And uh, now for today, nobody knows where it's going to spike. Now when the stock start to form resistance at around 3.16 and the top will be 3.40, the stock already told you the high of the day will be 3.40. So shorting into 330 and uh, there's a pre-market resistance, which is 340 and historical resistance will be 350. So there's about two layers of resistance, which that has a decent odds to short into. And that's the reason why I shorted PSTV. And uh, overall made about 80 cents out of 3.3. So around 20, 20 plus percent on this ticker. Now let's talk about AIHS. This is more interesting tickers and a lot of people are trying to figure out how to really trade uh, especially a ticker like this. Relatively high flow, relatively high market cap, super crowded volume. So when you are looking at a ticker, if the volume is over 30 million per day, it's considered to be a crowded ticker. It means the stock is very crowded. Duh. And when the stock tends to gap that high, about 150%, start running into about 109, 110. And uh, the stock pushed about 20 to 30%. So when you are trading a stock, make sure you pay attention to the stock price. If the stock are really close to one dollar, it's difficult for you to trade, especially going long or short. The reason behind it is the stock has to be at one dollar or above to meet the Nasdaq requirements to be able to stay on Nasdaq. If the stock tends to go down below one for a long period amount of time, they will get delisted off the Nasdaq. So people tend to hire market makers to manipulate their stocks to be able to stay above one, and they can either do an offering, do a reverse split to make the stock price go higher. And uh, for AIHS, if you are shorting very close to $1, the odds for you is not going to be that well. Especially when the stock consolidated around 135 and broke down this entire support uh, around $1 area. Now, in normal scenarios, stock tends to lose more, but just look at the ticker. The stock held at $1 perfectly by the end of the day. So into the next Monday, the, pro the stock probably will still hold that $1 as well. And this is the reason why I always tends to avoid shorting the stock is if it's too close to one dollar. That's for AIHS. Let's talk about NSYS. Now this ticker had extremely low flow. If you look at it, the ticker doesn't really have any type of resistance. No historical, any type of historical volume been traded on this ticker for a while. So when the stock is a fresh chart, never try to. Uh, sizing in into weaknesses, don't size into the bounce, only size into mass strength or when the stock tends to lose its all of its own gain after break down the major consolidations. So the only odds will be uh, into this breakdown, shorting around, uh, it's a little bit low, but shorting under 490 and be able to swing into the next day, cover around 385 or 390. So still about a dollar risk reward around 20%. 
Uh, for beginners, I don't really suggest shooting in the morning, shooting in the afternoon, shooting in the midday. The only thing I would really recommend is wait until the stock consolidates for a while, form a large amount of resistance, then short after the breakdown. Even though it's a little bit low, but it does give you a decent risk reward and also give you a really high winning percentage with a decent resistance to risk off. So one of the last tip I want to give out is when you are looking at any type of tickers or any type of companies, make sure you take a look of their market caps. The market caps are really important. There's large cap, there's mid cap, there's small caps. And a large cap will be considered as 500 million or above or billion dollar or above. Uh, those are considered billion dollar companies and they are really hard to drop. They're really hard to go up. Uh, so the volatility for those type of companies are really low, which is two to 5% every single day. Now, maybe sometimes you get a good news, then you get a 20%, 30% move, but it's more like in an instant. So you can't really catch the action. After that will be anywhere between 200 million to 500 million. That's considered as a mid cap. So in mid cap, the stock does have some type of fundamentals. So for stock to drop, uh, it's really good for dip buy when they're doing like a massive volatility flipping either um, longs or short. Dip buying into panic, uh, shorting into mass parabolic, those works really well. Now for small caps, you need to be really careful when you're trying to go long on these type of market caps because those type of companies fundamentals are really bad. Now when you're trying to go long uh, into this type of ticker, never try to hold overnight. Now take a look at this ticker uh, uh, APDN and uh, the same thing, take a look at the market cap. So it's under 20 million, which is extremely small cap. And for these type of tickers, when you're trying to go long, never try to hold overnight. See, something like this. If you go long at 20, you'll be selling at four. And that's about 80% below your entry. If you're a beginner, understanding the market caps are really important. When you're especially buying large on these APDN that gains about 300%, 400%, it is okay to buy if you have a decent statistics to support on intraday long or intraday short, but that's only for intradays. Never try to hold overnight to trying to risk off this potential offering. Uh, if you're trying to bet it's going to gap up, if it does an offering, it's going to go to four, you are losing too much. It's okay to buy mid cap or bigger caps because they do have some type of fundamentals to be able to hold the stock better compared to all those tickers that have really extremely low small caps. Understand the reason why uh, small caps does offering all the time is because they need money. They need money to, for their projects. They need money for their company because the reason why they get into the market is they need money from the investors. And generally those companies are 90% lack of cash or they're about to go bankrupt. So they're desperate for potential investors. And that's all the tips for the last week. APDN on SYS, PSTV, AIHS. If you want to check out the chart, please do. And let me know if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe and I will see you guys next video. Midday Manhattan, midday Manhattan, midday.